What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane D. Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And yes, another special edition. Because today, I'm going to compare and contrast two niggas that have been having a problem in these black YouTube streets. And that is Derek Jackson, Jamal Bryant. <clears throat> now, I think it's interesting that both of them are both in the Atlanta area. But what's even interesting is that I got a receipt from one of Jamal Harrison's Bryant's ex chicks. And uh, Kim, would you clap us down, please? She is working with something. Now, I'm not going to show her identity, although I'm probably sure she wouldn't mind me doing it. But the first thing that I want to do is, because I made a video about him about a month ago. She messaged me a few days ago, and she wanted to say this. Well, all right, guys. So I got this message February 17th from Jamal Bryant's ex-lady. Okay, so I'll put I'll block her name, but I'll let you see her face. It goes. Day music. Hi, O'Shea. I hope all is well. First, I watched your video and I couldn't stop laughing. Stop the show. That's because you wanted me, but you just didn't know how to tell me, baby. <laughs> it's all good. I'm not mad. If I were you, I would want me also. One little error. I did not purchase any of my flights. Jamal paid for all travel expenses. The text message was in response to Jamal's question. Can you have the airline refund the ticket? Here's how it worked. Stop the show. Uh oh, Jamal is shady. Jamal would screenshot his credit card and I would purchase the tickets. As you may know, I have plenty of credit card screenshots, as well as when the purchases were completed, we both received a receipt. On the email receipts, they state the payee is Jamal Harris and Bryant. I hope this helps. And then I go, like a hoe, because I was like, oh my god! I didn't even see this until now. Please send me this. I'm not a hoe, I really will be one of y'all up, so don't, don't play on me. But she goes, LOL, send the receipt. I was like, yes, if you want. And she was like, give me a minute, I'll send you the one, I'll send you one. And here is the photo now as we see the billing card information will blur out the last word of the social in his billing address is for Jamal Harrison Bryant now stop the show Rev you cheat okay nigga let's just be real as nice as this booty is you gonna send her on coach nigga you could at least got her to first class $213 and you charging at least ten thousand dollars for a speaking engagement, nigga. But anyways, <sighs> shady ass preachers. We also see this receipt, and yes, that is Reverend Jamal Harrison Bryant paying for an air ticket to get his lady. Now, I mean, you can see in the background, she do got some, I'm stopping the show, I'm not gonna lie. I even told her in the Instagram uh, inbox, please expose me. Your ass is fat as shit. I'm not even gonna lie, that ass is nice. It's, I was trying to grab it through the phone, but I don't wanna get here for the me too thing. So I'm just gonna keep my thirst at the minimum. But I see why he wanna deal with her. She probably bought her 35, 40, but I, I mean today, if I my whole YouTube check, I will give it to her today, right now. So baby, if you listen to me, we can do some things, okay? But here's the issue. Derek Jackson and Jamal Harrison Bryant are two type type of the same niggas. One, they're unaccountable. They're always blaming their problems on other people. Derek Jackson get caught cheating with his wife, it's God's fault. You know, God just, you know, accidentally made you bend somebody over from the back. That was God, God didn't like you, so he just put you in the, in, in, in the condo with some other hoes. Jamal Harrison Bryant, it's everybody else's fault. 
You know, he ain't got an answer to you about what he's doing, even though he is the pastor. And see, the second thing about both of these clowns, in my opinion, they set standards of themselves that they can't reach. That's something that, for me, I'll tell you right now, I ain't about shit. So I don't have no standards for myself. I'm just gonna let you know I be tricking. Um, I'm, I, I do have a problem simping. I'm getting better every year. I paid a lot of phone bills in my life. I bought a lot of weaves and a lot of sandals and I don't intend on stopping. I like it, it's a sport. I love what I do, leave me alone and let me trick. You stupid. If you don't like it, stop watching my channel, nigga. I nobody asked you to watch me, let me stop the show. I'm going in, I'm sorry. Let me dial that back. I'm thinking that I'm on a live stream. But these guys are the same in that way. Okay, just doing the same shit all the time, blaming other people. So setting standards that you can't reach, like my nigga, like why are you talking to me? You can't tell me to do something when your ass don't do it. Like that's why I try to tell you what I know that I can do, which is not that much. So I don't really tell you what to do that more often. Because if you find me tricking on somebody, you know, then I get caught. I'll be accountable, you know what I mean? I like a sucker. No, you might catch me buying some sandals. You might catch me buying some weeds. And when you do, you know, just come and say what's up and take your ass on the business, nigga. That's what you're supposed to do, all right? So, and get out of my face. But they set standards they can't reach. You out here acting like you are holier than thou. You are more better than everybody else when you really ain't shit. Everybody knows this. I mean, how many kids would Jamal Harrison Bryant got? Uh, well, let's stop the show. Because his, his ex-wife's father said he had at least eight. But you preaching to me every Sunday about what I need to do to meet Jesus. You got more holes than me. I'm actually jealous of you, Rev. Like, can I get some holes too? Like, why, why you won't give me no holes? Why is it just you? Why do you have to have all of them? Why do you have to have all the booty? Why can't I get some of the booty? Save some of the booty for me. You up in the pulpit, according to these receipts, you, you know what I mean? And I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm, this is what they're talking about you, bruh. You know, you out here setting the standards that you can't live up to, a player. So what's going on with that? I need to know. Third thing is that both of these guys appear to have narcissistic personalities. Derek and Jamal Harrison Bryant are completely stuck on themselves. It's about them. They really don't give a damn for what you can, I can tell about nobody else's feelings. It's all about what they want. They're like hedonist extreme, you know? He's very stuck on their image, very stuck on them, and it doesn't matter about nobody else. It's about me. Men who are like this, I get being selfish because being selfish is a key to not being abused and hurt. But when it's to a situation where, you know, your narcissism hurts everybody, that's a problem. Like Jamal Harrison's Bryant narcissism hurt his con congregation, you know, in Baltimore. Okay. It hurt his congregation in Baltimore. Now at the empowerment temple. Then it hurt his wife, okay? His narcissism. Then it hurt his own image. The people he believed, the people that believed in him. You understand what I'm saying? Same thing with our boy, Derek Jackson. His narcissism is hurting his wife, <laughs> is hurting his fans, is hurting people that believed in him and the girls that he's messing with on the goddamn side. Like, bro, why do you have to really be out here believing that you're better than somebody else or like you can't get exposed? Like, bro, you, you, anybody can get exposed. A me, you. So you have to walk, walk with yourself and understand that you're dealing with people and you're dealing with women that you're going to block. You know, you're dealing with women that you're going to, you know, tell them one thing and do another. Of course these ladies are gonna be mad. <clears throat> you guys are rich, 
you have a lot of money, you're leading them on to think that something is gonna develop, something is gonna happen, but because you're a narcissist, you're like, look, let me get what I can out of the situation and pretty much F them. I don't care how they feel. Then when you come out and those girls feel or ladies feel like they've been done wrong, they've been done bad, of course they're going to spill the receipt. Of course they're going to go to the blogs. Of course they're going to go to Tasha K. Of course, that makes sense because you didn't care about how they felt. You didn't tell them like, you know, this is really what, how it is. Maybe if you would have told them that, they would have probably still been cool with you, being cool with the situation. If you would have broke them off a little something, now, I would have never have advised you to write a check, stop the show. If you're gonna do some tricking, get you a money order, <clears throat> you know, or put that on a Walmart uh, prepaid card and give it to her that way. You know, get a green dot card and do some tricking with the green dot. That's an old school trick, you know, so they can't say it came from me because I just tricked on you on the green dot. I gave you about $500 to get that weave, but you can't say it came from me. And then get your a burner phone on the side with a different number under somebody else's name where she can't say that it's you and don't send no voice messages. Just listen to your uncle. I've been doing this thing for a long time, okay? But you could've did it like that, you know? But you didn't wanna do it like that. You wanted to be like, well, I wanna get what I wanna get from them and that's it. And then you out here looking like Willy Foo Foo when they come out and bust your ass out in these internet streets and prove that you ain't who you said you was. Now it's, you know, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus against you. Um, it ain't right. Uh, all of this, I can't believe, touch now that my anointed. You doing all this fake ass shit now. And nobody got time for all of that, you know? Really, really nobody got time for that. And, 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 and this is just a whole nother situation, what we're seeing right now. And unfortunately, it is bad, but those are the three ways Jamal Harrison Bryant and Derek Jackson got something in common. So guys, that's my time. Gotta get out of here. I'm tired as hell. Been working till 4 a.m. almost every morning getting these episodes out on these streets. You know, I gotta do extra work and get you niggas money because y'all love the drama. But hey, don't be mad at me. It's not my fault. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first comment pinned to the top. Really appreciate you for all that you do. Um, check out the Patreon guys, all my information in the first comment pinned to the top, check out the uh, email. And uh, thank you for your support guys. Give yourself a round of applause. As you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.